In 1788, Hutton headed to Sicker Point on the Berwickshire coast, just a few miles from his old farm. You know, this time in April, normally, the seas around here can be treacherous, but we've got a, a beautiful, calm, sunny day, which is pretty much the weather that Hutton had when he came here by boat with two friends to try and convince them about his theories of the Earth. What Hutton was on the lookout for turned out to be the most celebrated geological find in history. Hutton knew this coast well. What intrigued him was the different angles of the rocks along the cliffs. He had seen vertical layers along part of the coast. But he knew that further north, the angle changed completely. The layers were horizontal. Hutton's curiosity made him take a closer look. Cheers. So good to be here. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess it looks like a pretty normal piece of rocky foreshore to most people, but but this place is uh, is geological gold. I mean, quite simply, this it's the most important geological site on the planet. You'd never know it to look at it, but there's a huge story to be told here, an epic tale of geological violence. It takes you a while to see it to to get your eye in, but Hutton, Hutton knew instantly what he'd seen. Nothing less than the birth and death of whole worlds. What's remarkable is that Hutton could see all of this, not in a giant cliff, but a five foot high section of rock. In these horizontal and vertical layers of rock, he saw one long geological cycle piled on top of another. These layers of vertical grey rock started off as slurries of sand and mud, slopped off an ancient landmass and deposited in the ocean. They built up on the seabed as horizontal sheets, inch by inch over millions of years. But although they started off horizontal, all that was about to change because the ocean started to close. What Hutton couldn't have known, but we've since discovered, is that continents move slowly across the globe. And this is why the rock layers are vertical and don't lie flat. Over millions of years, a continent slowly and relentlessly drifted towards Scotland. The seabed crumpled, pushing the layers of bedrock upright higher and higher until they became hills and mountains. And there, erosion started again, rivers and rain wearing down the land. On top of the upright grey layers, fresh sediment gradually built up and solidified into new flat layers of rock. 